Hey guys, what's up? Magic Bard here with a pretty simple, awesome, quick to the point tutorial where we will create cinemagraphs, aka moving pictures. So if you've been following me on Instagram, I've been posting a couple of cinemagraphs, been messing around with that effect, and I've pretty much got it down and going to show you guys exactly how to do it in a fast way which will use Photoshop in. Now you guys can actually use Adobe After Effects to also create them, but I've noticed that Photoshop is quicker and easier. So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and click that little bell icon to be notified whenever my future videos are released. So you'll be the first to see them and get started on these new epic visual effects every single week. And click the like button if this video helps you at all. With that being said, Let's get into the tutorial and make some cinema graphs. So first things first, we're going to jump into Adobe Photoshop and here's how you're going to shoot this. So what you're going to do to keep this one easy, I shot this on a tripod and just kept it rolling. So it's actually video and what we did here was you get into your position and then you sort of hold it for about two to three seconds while there's motion in the frame. So in our video, the motion is going to be the water that's coming out of the hose. All right, so you see we're kind of lining it up and I'm telling my actor, Ben, that you know I'm gonna be blasting you right here, just stay still for a solid three seconds and we'll be good. And then what we're gonna do is use this to create our cinema graph. So let's test it out. So what I'm gonna do is drag my clip right into Photoshop and that's a video clip and what that's going to do is open up the Photoshop timeline. So if you didn't know, now you know that you can actually edit videos in Photoshop as well. Not recommended, but when we're creating cinema graphs, we're going to do that. So we're going to kind of zoom in here to look at our clip. And then what we're going to do is select the second or two seconds that you want to use so I'm going to trim it down and all I have to do is kind of scrub it with my playhead, look at the clip and then start to trim this down where I want it. So I'll start it there and then you'll see it just automatically goes to the very beginning. So that's nice and easy. And then I'll go to about here is fine. And what, and I'll tell you what I'm looking at is I'm looking at the hose and trying to find minimal movement. Okay, so you know if, if the hose goes too far up, too far down, too far to the left, it's gonna mess up with my cinema graph. But I was pretty still, so this whole clip will basically work. Um, I'll trim it down though to keep it simple for my edit, because what we're going to do is loop it. That's what these cinema, cinema graphs do; they just keep looping. So once you have your clip trimmed down, cut together, next step is you're going to select the video group one layer, click and drag it onto this new layer icon and what that's gonna do is duplicate it, okay? And what we wanna do is we need to create the loop. So what most people do, or what a lot of people do, is they'll loop clips by taking the first clip, duplicating it, and then adding it on to the end, and then reversing this layer. So it would go in regular motion here and then reverse and then at the end it will start over again and that is called a boomerang effect okay what we want to do is once it ends here it loops over to the front so how we do that is we make sure that this frame number one is also our very last frame which is going to be right here okay so stick with me guys we need this first frame to be the last which is where it is right now. So what we're going to do is drag this out and then we're going to fade this clip into our duplicated clip. So then we could trim this all the way down to the end of our sequence. Take this top clip, click on this little arrow, drop down arrow, and we're going to keyframe the opacity and then we're going to drag it to the very end, drag our play to the very end, and add another keyframe. 
And then we're gonna go into our opacity right here where it says 100% with this keyframe selected and click it and press zero, enter. Okay, so now what's gonna happen is it's going to fade into our first frame and then it's gonna loop over to the very beginning. Now this is a long fade, so what I'm going to do is bring this play, bring this keyframe over. And I can even shorten it a little more. And then what you can do is press the space bar, and you can see this loop in action. All right, so it looks fine to me. So now once you've created your video loop, now what you want to do, bring your playhead all the way to the very beginning, and you want to freeze this whole frame and then we'll start to mask out the parts that we want moving. So what we're gonna do is we can close these down for now and hold down the Command, Option, Shift, and E. And that's gonna create a, um, almost like a screenshot of this frame where the playhead's at, okay? So you can see as I scrub the playhead, everything is frozen, all right? And then what we can do is also trim down this clip. So Let's do that, trim it down to the edge of the sequence, and cool. Now what we want to do is create holes in this frame so that we can see the video action under it. And how to do that is we're going to create a mask, and we're going to mask out the water. So go over, make sure that your layer 2 is selected, or your still frame layer and hit this little layer mask button. Okay, so that'll create a layer mask right here. And then we're going to use the brush tool. You can hit B or you can select the brush tool right there and make sure black is selected, the color black. And then what we're going to do is paint over, paint over the water or whatever you want to be, whatever you want moving in the picture. So I'm going to just start painting over and you can't really see anything right now. So if I hit the little um, line key, which is right under your delete key next to the bracket button, you can see where you're painting over. It'll paint on red. Um, I'm going to feather out my brush a little bit by bringing down the hardness all the way down to zero. And there we go. So I'm going to start painting in this water like this. Okay, and you can resize your brush by pressing the brackets up and down on your keyboard. So that is also right under the delete button. And I'm going to just kind of paint over these streaks of water. And then also right here as well, as it's dripping down, as it hits Ben in the chest right there and then also right here as it's dripping down the car. And let's see that one more time. I'll, pr I'll press that um, little line button right under the delete key to get rid of the red. And we can see the water moving. Everything else is still. That's looking good. I could look around to see what else I want moving. Maybe there's some water drizzling down here. So I'll paint that in too. Show you what I'm painting in. Scroll down. And cool. That looks good. So now what should happen is bring this over here. Let me zoom out so we can see everything. I'm going to press Z on the keyboard and click drag to zoom out. And now press the space bar on the keyboard to watch my cinema graph looping in and out. And that's basically it, guys. Real simple, straight to the point. You've just created your cinemagraph. Now what you want to do is probably export it. And depending on where you're going to post it, um, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, that'll depend on your export. So let's just go for go to File, Export, and you can go to Safer Web. That would be if you're going to upload it to Facebook. Okay, so we're going to create a GIF, a GIF. And you can see that by selecting this, maybe it's going to be on a JPEG or PNG. Just select that and click GIF. Um, double check all your settings, which are all pretty good. They look good to me. 
Um, you could change your image size. I shot this in 4K, so that's why we're looking at a 3840 by 2160 image size. And what you want to do is go to where it says looping options and click forever. And that will, when you play the GIF, it'll keep looping and looping and looping instead of just once. Um, that's also personal preference if you just want it to loop once. But most GIFs or GIFs or whatever they're called, um, they keep looping. So that's what I'll do. And then I'll click save and then you'll be good to go. Next exporting option is file, export, and render video. All right. So now this would be if you want to put this on Instagram, YouTube, anything like that, and you want a video file, this is how you export videos in Photoshop. So same thing as After Effects. So you name your file, select where you want to put it, um, and then everything else is good to go. So make sure every you know you're selecting all frames you don't want to cut it down unless if you do want to cut it down and you want a different end frame but remember we looped it from the beginning to the end so we want all frames and all you have to do is click render and you're done that's how you create a cinemagraph aka a moving picture in adobe photoshop and if you guys don't have Photoshop or you don't want to use it, you can do the exact same thing in After Effects. Instead of creating a mask with a paintbrush, what you would do is create a mask with the pen tool and do the exact same thing in After Effects. So that's how it's done. If this tutorial helped you out at all, please leave a like. And if you want to learn certain effects, let me know in the comments section. Hit me up and I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. I'm at Magic Bard on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Hit me up on there. Let me know what's up. I'd love to see what you guys end up doing. Tag me in your videos. Love to check it out. But that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.